angry guy here and semen retention damages men and benefits women. Semen retention damages men and benefits women. Guys, this is a topic that I feel like I need to discuss because it's not getting discussed. A lot of men seem to think that semen retention is a path towards finding happiness, balance, tranquility in their lives. And it's absolute nonsense. Many years ago, me and my best friend did this. We began practicing it. Before it was even a thing. Before no fap was a thing, we were doing no fap. And I'm telling you, there's no major benefits to it. Don't get me wrong. Sitting around, you know, just plucking the chicken all day is not a good thing. You know, there are consequences to doing it too much. You can drain your body, it, it affects you mentally. It's definitely not good for your health. But on the other hand, it really varies from guy to guy. It really also depends on where you are in life. For example, if you're a single guy, overall takes care of your body. You're not overweight. You're not in bad shape. Your finances are, are relatively stable. You're working on yourself, but you're not in a relationship. Semen retention is not going to fix that for you. If you have an issue with plucking the chicken, what you have to focus on is finding balance, addressing other issues that are happening in your life. Why are you spending so much time doing this activity? More so, it's not necessarily because you don't have a relationship. It's not because you're constantly feeling like you want to have intimacy and you don't have someone. You may think that's where it's stemming from. But often that's not the source. More often than not, it comes from a place, unhappiness in our lives, a place from there's something missing in our lives. And let me make this very clear. A woman cannot and should never be your primary source of happiness. There are a lot of guys who get into relationships and after they're in a relationship with their so-called dream girl, they don't even want to go near her. I mean, they would rather either pluck the chicken or spend years not doing anything at all, not being intimate at all, than have anything to do with this individual. A lot of dudes, after they get married, married, they don't even pluck the chicken after that. Like, they basically just become celibate. And you're like, what? How does that happen? And there are guys who are listening to the video right now. Some of them, it doesn't apply. But others can tell you that, yeah, like they don't even do it anymore. It's very easy to do that activity, to pluck the chicken, you know, use that as a means of kind of deviating away from the other things that are happening our, in our lives. A lot of us do it just out of anxiety, sometimes out of boredom. It's done for a variety of reasons. Sometimes you need to develop better self-control, but in reality, it's kind of a normal thing. And it's not going to save your life. You, you may feel like you're getting better. For example, you have some guys who do it so con so often that, yeah, it, it drains you. But the truth is that sometimes when you stop doing that, the reason why you'll notice that other aspects and areas of your life improve are not so much because you are not doing that anymore, but it's more because you're taking more control of your life. Now, there are negative side effects to continuously doing this because it's telling your body that basically, you know, you're in a position where you don't need to go out and approach and talk to women. But in modern day society, you shouldn't be doing that in the first place. You should not be going out. You should not be talking to women. They don't want to speak to you. OK, you should not be engaging in relationships that you should not be getting married. You should not be dating in modern day society. If you want to do those things, you can go overseas and you can do those things overseas. 
But in your current environment, you should not be doing those things. Those things drain you off your time. Time equals money. So it drains you off your money, your resources, your energy. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. It does not benefit you in any way whatsoever engaging in relationships in Western society. Every single guy right now should be focusing on their own happiness. What will make you happy? What will make what will bring you peace? Focusing on your peace. What will pr produce stability in your life if there is instability? These are the questions you should be asking yourself. These are the things you should be focusing on. You will be amazed to notice that when you address issues such as stability in your life, what's creating anxiety in your life? What's creating instability in your life? No, it's not a relationship with a woman that you're lacking. You might feel like it is. Trust me, it is not. If you feel that you need someone, go and you have their in your life, you have your balance, your life in balance. Because you've addressed the other areas in your life. So you're let's say your finances are good. Right? Physically, you're in good shape. All right. Finances are good. Physically, you're in good shape. And spiritually, because we need spirituality, you have to believe in something. I'm telling you this, guys. You have to believe in something. A lot of there are a lot of people in my channel, and they they'll, they'll reject the idea. But if you don't believe in something, then you believe in nothing. You have to believe in something. For me. I don't like the church. I want to have nothing to do with the church. I believe that the church is divisive and it pushes people further away from God than anything else. But my relationship with Jesus has grown the, f the further I've moved away from loving my fellow man and trying to have this notion of forgiveness and kindness and generosity. I don't believe in that stuff anymore. I don't fear God anymore. Instead, I revere God. And I think, and that's what's worked for me. And I think that that can work for a lot of other people. But you have to believe in something. You cannot just live for yourself. You have to believe in something, something greater than you. But you have to focus on finding your peace, your joy, your happiness, and creating your stability. Because it's not going to fix that problem. I know this for a fact because me and my buddy, we used to do this. We used to do this whole semen retention thing. We'd go for months. Oh, yeah, it's been three months. Oh, my gosh, it's been six months. It's like what? So, you know, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. And you're still exhausted. You're still tired. You're still miserable. You're still, un you're still unhappy. You know what happens with a lot of these passport guys, passport kings? They go overseas, and you'll notice a look on their faces. They suddenly change. They change. You notice that a lot of these guys, the ones that don't just go and immediately settle for some Filipina that was living in a pig in a piggery when they met her and picked her up out of poverty and then rushed to marry her. And I'm not saying that you can't find a, a beautiful Filipina or a great Latina, but there's a lot of dudes that are desperate. They go over there. They marry the first woman that approaches them. And they think that they've won the lottery. And I think that that's absolutely, that's absolutely ridiculous. You know, you should always take time to get to know the person that you're in a relationship with. And when you have these guys that are constantly defending, you know, these, their wives, like, oh my gosh, you, she, she can do no wrong. Uh, Western women are bad, you know, but these women are quality women. And, you know, if, if they, if they did something bad to their husband, it's because of their husband, they have these women on a pedestal. Any man that basically believes that there's a woman on this planet that is virtuous, actually virtuous, that there's a group of women that are born virtuous, those are simps. Those are absolute simps. There's no such thing. There's no such thing as a group of virtuous men on this planet. And there's no such thing as a group of virtuous women on this planet. Human beings are human beings. So you have to be co consciously aware of that. But when you have the guys that are going overseas and and just having relationships, you notice that there's a look on their face, a look of confidence, a look of peace, and a look of value. They suddenly realize that they have value. And they're not jumping into relationships rapidly. You'll see videos of them, you know, with different women, 
and enjoying their lives. You'll notice that these guys are going out. They're going to festivals and events. You know, they're spending a lot of great time with lovely ladies, but they're not rushing to marry them. They're not rushing to even say, this is my girlfriend. You know, at best, they have many girlfriends all over the world. You know, they it's so much more natural. And you, and you see that these guys, they have, they're finding their peace. There's something very toxic about Western society. I hear guys saying that, oh, Germany is toxic too. But yeah, guys, come to the United States. You know, if you say, if you think that Germany is toxic, please come to the United States and live in the United States for a while. Live in the United States. Stay, come, live here for a year. Please just give it at least a year. Two years would be better, but give it at least a year. Honestly, I feel like a lot of these guys who are saying these things couldn't make it six, could could not make it six months. Like after six months, they would want to leave the United States. They would want to leave Western society. A lot of these guys who are dissing even Sweden. All right, you you're here. You heard me right. A lot of people who diss even Sweden could not make it in somewhere like New York. Or these liberal places like like L.A. in California. I mean, even Texas is becoming toxic because so many so many people from the blue states have now moved are now moving to the red states. It's 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 pretty it's pretty frustrating. But you have to understand that this thing, this semen retention, it damages men. It damages men in the way that they view life. It makes you, it can actually make you feel more demoralized, more miserable because you're not, it's not going to suddenly change things. And, oh, now I'm going to be going out and getting and having these relationships. No, I'm, Western society is done. So if you're doing that, you know, if you feel like you're doing doing it too much, then that's because you don't need to stop doing it. You need to start asking yourself, why are you doing it? What's causing you to do that? What are you using it to compensate for? What's you have anxiety? Where does that anxiety come from? Are you still? Do you have a repressed emotions? Is there psycho psycho psycho? Are there psychological issues there? Is there trauma there? Are there things from your childhood there? There's so many things to unpack there. There's so many things to unpack there. To be very clear, also there are times when it's best that you do that. For example, guys who have other aspects of their lives under control, they'll go pluck the chicken once a week, twice a week, you know, or every couple of days, and they don't do it excessively. It just, it's basically something to, you know, get that energy out, get that, th get it, get, get that energy out, and then move on, you know? It, and, and, and I think that's a much more normal and natural balance. It's, it's true. It really is. And you'll feel happier, you'll feel more comfortable, you'll feel more relaxed. And the fact is that you will walk around when you have other areas of your life balanced with pride and satisfaction and clarity because you're not worried about getting a woman. You're not worried about having a relationship. You don't care. You can do it on your own. You're good. You're self-sufficient. And if you want a relationship, you'll go overseas. But like I said, the guys going overseas, you see a sense of peace on their faces. Many of these guys that are not simps aren't jumping in rapidly into relationships. Some of these guys are not in relationships at all. A lot of the passport kings, they're not going overseas for a relationship. They're going overseas to find peace. You'll find these guys, they don't have a girlfriend. They have women who are talking to them that want relationships with them, but you'll see these coy smiles on their faces. Like they don't, they're not really focused on that because they've gone overseas and they found peace. They have found peace. They are more relaxed. They are more calm. You, you know, I saw an article where this woman purchased a house in Italy for like $62,000. I saw another article where a family left the U.S. They went to France and they purchased a giant house that would probably cost a, like in a bad neighborhood, like $1.2 million. And, you know, in a good, in, 
in, in like, you know, like a fancy upstate area, oh, maybe 20, 30 million dollars, 40 or maybe even 40 million dollars. I would like something in New York, like like New York or one of those crazy areas. Yeah, like maybe 20, 30, 40 million dollars. I know I'm, I'm not exaggerating. I am not exaggerating at all. And they purchased this in France for like two, like just over two hundred thousand dollars. Like the, the kinds of money that's being spent in the United States right now is absolutely ridiculous. The quality of life in the United States is so poor for the average person. And there are a lot of people that are addicted to this type of life because they think that the, 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 they think the entire world revolves around Western society. And if you step outside of Western society, there's nothing else there. They turn on the television. They see things, bad things happening in places like France and, and other countries. And they think, oh, my God, France is a Western country, too. But there's, but it's just so crazy that there are so many people in these English speaking countries that they are so arrogant that they feel like their country is the best country and they can't. And it's like, there's no life outside of their country and bro, it's miserable. It's a miserable environment. And it's like, you can't, you can barely pay your bills. You have like no savings whatsoever. And you're like America, man, America guys, I'm a conservative. I'm a far, I'm a hard conservative, but I'm telling you right now, I'm, the American dream is, you know, George Carlin said it best. You have to be asleep to believe it. It's, it's, it's absolute nonsense. You're going to, you're, you know, not American currency, the U S dollar has lost 97% of its value since the year 1900 in, in 123 years. Our our currency has lost ninety seven percent of its value, and it's still falling. And the, the inflation that we see right now, it's not going. We've been warned by economists, it's not going anywhere. It's not going to come down. Don't expect this inflation to come down for a long time. If it's it's here to stay, it's here to stay. It's here to stay. All that phony money that was printed back in twenty twenty, it's wrecked the economy. It's they've they've robbed us. They've robbed us. They've robbed us. They've devalued our money. We this this the, the buying power is gone. Okay, you guys need to focus on addressing other aspects of your life. Steam and retention it damages you and it empowers women because if you're you sit there and you think that okay now I'm going to be more valuable. I'm going to have the drive to go and talk to girls. You shouldn't be talking to women in this environment. They don't want to speak to you. It is an absolute not. You'd be out of your mind. You want to have a relationship? Go overseas, you know? But in Western society, get the heck out of here. You should not be doing any of that, okay? And don't, you know, this whole, no, it's like, it's almost like worshiping them. It's really none of their business. And you should not be ashamed of yourself. You should not be ashamed of your body. You should not be ashamed of any of this. You should be focusing on yourself, your own happiness, your self-development. And, and if you're doing it too much, it's not a matter of a lack of intimacy. It's coming from somewhere else. It's an imbalance in your life, sometimes in your body, but it's not, it's, it is a, it is, it's coming from somewhere else. It's coming from somewhere else. It is a symptom. It is not the cause. Okay. Let me make that clear. Plucking the chicken more than you really need, you really should be. It is a symptom it is not it is of something else. It is not the cause. And I have a master's in psychology and another master's in health science. So I'm not a doctor, but, or a psychologist or psychiatrist, but I do have some, I got, I got a little bit of knowledge. All right. Like the video. If you, let's talk about it in the comments and uh, let's hear what you have to say. Like the video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA men walking away and shit.